Hello, people of the internet. Simon here again with another e-com secret. This time it's a Google Analytics and Shopify secret. And it's how to enable site search for Google Analytics for your Shopify store. So by default, Google Analytics will not track any site searches performed on your site. It doesn't know how to do that. You have to tell it how to do that. Um, if we were to look in the report, which is under behavior site search, we'll see that we don't get any searches tracked because Google doesn't know about how to perform those searches. So we have to tell Google how to, how to get those searches from our data. And to do that, we need to give it um, a little bit of information. But what we need to go, first of all, is into admin, uh, into the properties, into view, section and under view settings. We scroll right to the bottom and we'll see and enable or turn on toggle for site search tracking. So we can turn on site search tracking and we'll be asked for a query parameter. So this query parameter is so that Google can pull out the search queries from the URL, the address. Um, in Shopify, if we perform a quick search, so let's say if we search for Nike, Nike, we'll see that in the URL is the search parameter. In this case, it's Q equals Nike or Q. That's the query string, let's say. So what we need to do is to add that Q into the query string. We don't need the equals because what we're going to do is we're going to strip out that parameter anyway. What that means is the analytics won't show the Q equals part. It will just show the Nike, let's say, for that example. And then once we've added that letter Q in, we can hit search. Now, if you're not using Shopify, if you're using another e-commerce solution, or even a, if you're running WordPress, a blog, if you do exactly the same thing, if you look for the query parameter that's used for performing searches, um, you can either find it from, as I've just done, performing a search, or have a look in the documentation of, of whatever software you're using. So that now will start and track from this point onwards, Google searches performed on that Shopify site. It, it won't retrospectively go back and look at any previous data and pull any search queries out. It will only do it from the point you have enabled it. So it's wise to do this early on when you're starting a store or you're, you're creating a new site. But what I do have is another account where I've enabled this a few days ago, uh, probably about 10 days ago, on a site that gets quite a lot of activity, but uh, the store search doesn't doesn't get a huge amount. So you'll, you'll probably see that there's, there's quite a lot of visits that, that are with and without search uh, search results. So, okay, first thing we need to do is, is, is again, back into behavior uh, and site search and overview. So this overview is, as it says, it's an overview. It's a high level overview of uh, some of the stats based on searches performed on your site compared to the traffic that you have. So you'll see a, a little search term report. Um, you can even get a little start page retort report. Now, there's categories that you can have based on um, different categories that you can set up with searches, but for Shopify, you're only searching for products. So um, there's no real categories in this. For things like WordPress, you could uh, put in categories for different blog posts or different article types and things like that. Um, but for this example, we've just got the one. So yeah, the first overview is, as it says, it's a high level overview, uh, tracking the amount of searches you've got over time um, on your site since you've enabled it. The next report, uh, maybe a little bit more useful, is a usage report. Uh, and this will just give you a breakdown of, of visits to your site with and without site search. Um, so you can get a bit of an understanding of, is site search performing well? Is it doing its as it should um, if it's not you know it may be that your search facility isn't visible enough it's hidden out of the way uh, maybe the results aren't yielding uh, what people expect um, and, and you'll also get if you've got e-commerce tracking you'll also get a breakdown of, of revenue and conversion values um, obviously there's not a great deal of data on this and, and this website is a is a more of a community website so it does get quite a lot of uh, hits outside of the store which is cataloged here um, but just, just to give you an overview here. So you've got to think that, that people are going to use the search facility when they can't find what they're looking for. So if they're on a page on your site, 
they can't find what they're looking for they landed on a specific product or they've landed on a specific uh, section maybe a blog or whatever and they can't find the item they're looking for or the information they're looking for they're going to perform a site search so this is basically that the functionality that, that we're looking to get out of here is is what are people looking for and, and can I use that information to better either create content on my site so it could be blog posts um, it, it could be featuring of products it could be making sure that you've got the correct terms used in your product descriptions or titles or even tagging items with specific search terms that people people uh, come in and, and, and look for on your site um, which you'll probably find better in this search terms report. So this will give you a little bit, a bit more in-depth uh, of a report, a bit more in-depth information to exactly what searches were performed on your site. Um, you, you get refined uh, analytics here, so you'll get some search exits and whether the search was refined, so a, a repeat of that search. Uh, and you can actually pull up extra dimensions if you like. So you could pull up... Uh, uh, where is it now? Search query site. I think it's called refinement. Refined keyword. So if someone's typing in a search term and then they're actually typing in a refinement of that search, what is that refinement? Because the first search term obviously didn't yield what they were looking for. So they refined that search. So what I did there is under the second dimension, I just did a quick search in those dimensions uh, for refined search right so yeah use this information look at the, the the top searches that you're getting and perhaps the top searches that you are getting perform those searches yourself as an actual visitor to your site and look at results it are those results expected results are they yielding what you expected them to if not why not right is it because uh, people are searching for a product that you don't have, for, for content that you don't have. Is it possible for you to then add that to your inventory and, and better serve people? Um, are they looking for certain accessories that you might be able to bundle or, or, or also sell as well? Um, that, that just gets you an insight into, into what people are actually looking for. And because this is analytics and, and rather than Shopify, you'll get this information can be aggregated over a much longer period of time. Uh, so the final a results page that we're going to look at, sorry, report within the uh, Google Analytics is a search page. So the actual page that the search was performed on. Um, okay, great. Tells me where, where they were exactly within the site. Um, but I like to add in here another dimension of the actual search term. So if we look and had add in search term dimension, we'll also get the exact search that they use. So we know what page they were on and we know what search that they performed. So again, a little bit more detail into, okay, they were on this page, but they still couldn't find the information they were looking for. And what is it they were looking for? Is it, re is it related product? Do I have this related product? Am I pulling in search results for this product because of certain keywords that um, I, I shouldn't be using? Maybe it's in your AdWords and you're, and you're pulling in certain certain key phrases within the title or the description that, that's that's confusing people and they're actually looking for a different product um, there are a few other dimensions in here that you could pull in such as e-commerce behavior whether things have converted or things like that so so have a good look around within these uh, reports and, and and really dive deep and, and help yourself get a better understanding of what people cannot find initially on your site where they cannot find it and if you can better serve them okay fantastic that's it. That's another e-com secret from me, Simon Vernon, and it's how to enable site search for Google Analytics for your Shopify store. I'll be back again with a few more e-com secrets, but for now, that's it. Click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.